Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me for a real solar system video, and this is my replica of Saturn V. It is slightly different in some ways, um, mainly it doesn't have the Apollo spacecraft on top because I had some instability issues, so this is still kind of a work in progress, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a tiny bit shorter than the real Saturn V, just because um, a uh, real solar system doesn't map everything perfectly. I'm using basically the full realism overhaul, which you can Google or look at my other real solar system video for it. Anyway, on launch it takes off very slowly because it doesn't need to be going particularly fast and because it's incredibly heavy. This is a 10.1 di 10 meter diameter rocket. Um, the engine powering it is a replica of the, of the cluster of five Rocketdyne F1 engines producing a total of, uh, I think, at, at maximum, about 38,000 38, kilonewtons of thrust. Right now it's only producing about 33, because um, Real Solar System has started to map, um, uh, has started to actually implement uh, thrust being lower in atmosphere, as in real life, but ISP does change as well, somewhat unrealistically. I've accidentally tipped over a little bit too much, um, because you want to be going, with this, you want to be going slightly vertically for about the first few kilometers until about this velocity. Anyway, now I can start properly turning over. You want, in um, the real world and with Ferrum Aerospace, you want to be turning over quite uh, free, uh, quite rapidly because uh, with Ferrum Aerospace, if you just um, full-on turn, it'll break the rocket because of um, aerodynamic pressure. And you want to be turning over quite quickly because you want to be going very fast. Um, you want to be in orbit around at about eight kilometers per second. Um, in the to in the payload bay, there is uh, inside those fairings there is a forty ton payload. This can deliver forty five tons, or about well, actually, it's more like forty two tons to um, a translunar injection, which means um, it can put forty five tons in orbit around the moon, or at least on the way to the moon. Um, I'm not actually going to be moving to the moon because I'm not actually in the right place. This is just a demo flight, really. Um, I'm planning on just putting this around Venus's orbit because with a Saturn V, you can effectively go to Mars or Venus. Um, it would require some tweaks, and I might actually do a mission with it. I am going to um, demonstrate quite a few of my vehicles because I have built a space launch system, Block 1 and Block 1A, uh, a Soyuz, and some various other rockets because... Um, Ah, it's just incredibly interesting trying to build perfect replicas. This is, a, as I've said, it's a few meters um, less high than the real um, Saturn V because, uh, um, well, it's it, 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 because of thrust to weight ratio issues. Um, the first uh, stage burns kerosene and liquid oxygen, much like the real Saturn V. The top stage looks very big in comparison to the um, lower stage. That's because that uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, which is the same kind of fuel used on the space shuttle, which isn't particularly dense. And uh, now I'm beginning kind of a full gravity turn. I turn over quite rapidly now because um, uh, because I want to be going fast sideways and the atmosphere is thin enough to allow that. Uh, to give you kind of a sense of perspective, um, those little canards on the bottom, those are delta wings. If you know delta wings, those are quite large. Um, and those look tiny on that rocketine. As I say, that's 10.1 meters in diameter. The third stage is six meters in diameter, um, uh, kind of well, six point four, I think, realistic to the real, um, the real Saturn V. I didn't utilize a lot of the tanks because you can take out quite a bit of fuel just to keep it kind of looking um, real, and because it didn't need that much delta V, and because this, the first two stages of the Saturn V can only lift to about a hundred tons, and oh my god, my phone just vibrated. That will annoy me a ton. Um, Anyway, I'll ditch the first stage and ignite this. I didn't wait too long because I want to be going very fast. Uh, this doesn't produce quite as much, th well, anywhere near as much thrust. These are the um, five Rocketdyne J2s. Um, I think that all comes with the uh, Realism Overhaul mod, um, which you should definitely check out. Just Google it or check out my other video for a link. Um, I'll probably link that somewhere, or you can just check out my channel. It's fairly easy to find. I'm not getting a huge amount of acceleration now, I don't even have 1g of acceleration, but that will increase as my thrust increases and my uh, mass decreases. Um, this weighs about 600 tons right now, but will uh, get considerably lighter. Um, I'm working on lots of um, rockets, and I want to do this thing where you kind of go from Apollo era rockets and make them bigger and put more boosters on them until you have a gigantic rocket. I know someone built one, that was a 350 ton lifter, which can lift a replica of a Soyuz to orbit, which is incredibly impressive. Um, I'm currently a little over a minute away from my Apple apps, and I want to keep burning, and uh, I'll, I'm still pointing quite 
uh, quite a high angle because, um, or I'll pass over my echo apps and fall back into the atmosphere because I haven't perfectly figured out the prefer uh, perfect launch trajectory, and I'm going to let it slowly tilt upwards by about five more degrees to keep me from falling back into the atmosphere, and we're reaching one de one g of acceleration now. Um, you can see my th service thrust to weight ratio is 0.95. For all the information, there is uh, the orbit info and vessel info on the left, which is where I'm getting all my figures. That is MechJab. MechJab is incredibly useful for things like this, um, just mainly for kind of telling you exactly um, what your rocket's doing. And I imagine for uh, landing, it would be quite nice. Uh, my apoops is now about 150 kilometers, and I am out of the atmosphere. The atmosphere ends around 120 kilometers, but... Um, it's quite hard to actually put something in orbit there because uh, of speed issues, um, well, velocity issues. Another interesting thing is now with realism overhaul, if you gimbal, um, use your engines to turn, which is just changing their vector, it will decrease your um, forward acceleration because obviously they're burning off center, so the um, vector will be decreased by, however, by various, I don't know the exact calculations in my head, um, because... I probably do know them. Well, no, I, I know the calculations, but it would be hard to think of right now as I'm talking. Um, but yeah, we're coming up quite fast now. Our orbital velocity is around 4,000 meters a second, which is quite nice. It'll have to double almost to get me into a stable orbit. And we are coming quite close to the apoaps now. Um, I could almost call it Apogee, but they haven't renamed the planets. Um, the planets do have brilliant textures now. I will be visiting them with rockets such as this, the space launch system. I haven't made a block two yet for the space launch system, which is the one with the upper stage, which is a ridiculously heavy lifter, about 130 something tons. This is around 120 tons, which is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, fairly synonymous to the real Saturn V. That's what I was going for with this. Um, yeah, Realism Overhaul is a brilliant mod. And I've just been kind of working on lots of launch vehicles so I can do lots of missions, because I would like to be doing some missions because um, well, I like the real solar system. Other people seem to. It tends to get quite a few views, and uh, people tend to like it. Um, and it's kind of... I'm going to planning on doing occasional videos kind of in place of being SpaceX, because that died, because mods are dicks. Um, and now I have a far more mods installed, and it'll probably break a lot more. But it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is going quite nicely now. Um, that top stage has around 3,600 meters a second delta V, which will put me in a nice trajectory onto the moon, actually a trajectory, if I plan it perfectly, to Duna or Mars, because it is now f that far away, or if I um, plan it even more perfectly, uh, to Venus, or um, L uh, Eve as it's called, but it looks like Venus now with the brilliant textures. Um, my mass has now dropped to about 350 tons, because even though liquid, hydro liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen are very light, um, they're... Uh, not particularly, uh, they are, well, in a, in a, um, um, a tank this big, it's pretty heavy. I would quite like to put this in a uh, stock KSP and see what it could do. Well, it wouldn't be stock KSP because it uses a uh, realism overhaul fuels. Um, and it would be quite a, uh, and I saw so I'd install a few mods and see what it could do. I reckon it could lift a hell of a lot in, um, um, a normal KSP because tiny, tiny Kerbin, um, yeah, but our acceleration is getting pretty good, and I'm starting to tip over more as our Apple Apple uh, Apple apps backs away from us. Um, yeah, and I'm and the textures uh, on the tanks are kind of integrated with the real tanks mod. Uh, no, the stretchy tanks mod. They allow you to put Saturn things on there. Uh, Soyuz green. They have loads of textures. It's quite nice. Um, all the mods are coming together quite nicely. It's less breaky and more realistic now. And I'm about at about 170 cl um, kilometers above um, sea level right now. So that's a fair, that's a um, nice orbit, really. Um, I think Hubble orbits about 200 kilometers, and then ISS orbits around 400 kilometers, or that might be miles. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the figures. Um, but yeah, I launched out of Cape Canaveral where the Saturn V tended to, well, I think, always launch from. Um, so, you know, all of the realisticness. And we are really coming up to our um, orbital velocity now. And it does look very nice. Um, and you can see the camera moving as the fuel's burnt at a phenomenal rate and the mass moves forward. Um, but, yeah, I need to figure out how to actually um, get... The problem when I have um, a S Apollo spacecraft on top is it just shakes around too much because of instabilities with mods and various other things. Um, but yeah, 
Oh, these engines can't be lowered in thrust because that's true to life and my screens go off. Um, yeah, uh, so I try to throttle down now as I get um, uh, close, as my Apple Watch jumps away from me, but I can't, so I don't bother. Um, because these engines can't be throttled down because they're not built to do that because there's no real point. And we are now in a stable orbit, and it takes me a while to shut off my engines, so uh, we, uh, so I'm, my orbit's a little um, eccentric, but uh, it's fine. I accidentally click on the toolbar button visibility, but I deal with that quite swiftly. Um, I still have a bit of fuel left in there, but I can't reignite that engine because I'm using the engine igniter mod, so I can't ignite it again, which uh, is a bit of a shame. But um, I don't need that anyway. This has a ton of delta V. And it's about to skip ahead and... T oh, and no, I need to ditch those fairings, actually. Um, just uh, ditch them so you can see the bountiful payload of monometal hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide, a wonderful fuel. Um, pretty poisonous, I think. Uh, this doesn't have any torque, as I figured out. Um, so it will skip ahead in a second to um, where, I, where I got to, where I just basically burn prograde to see what I can do. So I don't really angle it. Um, yeah, they've also taken down the torque quite a lot so that it's... Um, uh, more like, uh, well, they, most probes don't have any torque, and I think most torque you can get is something like one kilonewton, which is a lot uh, less than in the normal game. Um, anyway, we might as well head out to Venus now, because Venus is a nice place to go, and easier to get, uh, less delta V to get to than um, Mars. Um, I'm just going to use the real planet names, because that's what the textures are, and that's how far away they are from Earth. I'm going to call it Earth, that's nice. Um, I do have deadly reentry installed actually, and some new heat shields, so I can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, and our yeah, our vessel mass is decreasing, but it is still over a hundred tons. Yeah, hundred tons to uh, orbit in the real world. But yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that. And I'm getting a lot of acceleration because I'm using a, a Rockamax engine, not a Rockamax, a KW engine. It's very powerful and decent. Um, uh, has a pretty decent um, ISP actually and gives me about 1300 kilonewtons of thrust. I don't really need that much thrust, but it it was just quite a nice engine. And if I'm going to the moon, I don't want to, it's just easier to kind of have a quick burn, I guess. Um, yeah, so I just kind of uh, keep burning and our Apple Watch is already at three million meters. It will be much higher than that by the time I escape. And it looks like we'll pass over South Africa um, as we leave and I time warp in the game because this is post commentary, if you can't tell. Um, talking me talking about skipping um, through stuff, obviously, um, but yeah, um, this has gotten a lot less glitchy. I think s uh, some serious work has gone into real uh, the real solar system mod and the re realism overhaul mod, and all the mods that go into it is just very nice right now. Um, I'd like to see it get better, but um, it's just it's just really wonderful. Just Google realism overhaul and you'll get it. Um, and it just has so much cool stuff. Um, anyway, we've now escaped Kerbin and will just bring my periaps down around the sun to encounter Venus, the one marked by red. Um, it won't actually encounter Venus because I didn't plan this. I will at some point, but it was just kind of making a point that I could get an intersect with Venus if I so desired, um, but I don't right now. Um, so that's just proving a point, and... Uh, it's time to warp out of the Kerbin system. I forgot to put a decoupler on there as well, so it'll take the main stage, with, well, the um, top stage with it as well. But yeah, we are now in orbit around the sun and could hit um, Venus if we so desired. But I don't desire, well, I do desire, but I can't. And I warp round and see if I can get any kind of intersect, but I can't because I failed. Um, so I would like to do some missions to maybe Venus, maybe Mars, maybe... Um, well, I doubt Saturn V could take me much further beyond, but if I put a small probe on it, it might. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this, and I do hope you want to see more of this, because I enjoy making it. This has been Real Solar System. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. <laughs>